It's Weighted Wednesday at Neo Fit Body, so come on and join us. Let's get this workout started. So, all right, today is a 50-10 timer, you guys, which reminds me I've got to grab this remote. But 50-10 timer, 50 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. We're going to go through three rounds. Each round has four moves, two times through those rounds. And with that, we have got upper, lower body workout plus a cardio burst, finishing with, of course, the core. So what is our Neo Nugget for today? So the Neo Nugget is short, it's simple, but so much truth to it. Consistency isn't rocket science, folks. <laughs> it's all about commitment. Commitment, so one. congrats to all of you that are committed. Think about what are you committed to, what do you want to be committed to, and then you'll have, consistency is all about commitment. So you awesome. know what? I'm committed to being fit so I can be a great husband, a good father, and be the best at everything I do. So that commitment is going to lead us to consistency, right? Yes. You know what? Really, y'all, it is a lot about relationships, isn't it? It really is. I really, you know, I sent a message to my mother years ago, honey. I'll never forget. And I said, honey, I said, no, honey. Mom. Here. I sent a message to mom. And I said, mom, I just want to say thank you so much for your commitment to your health, to fitness. Because having a healthy mom means a lot to just have a mother who can do things with us, can be involved with us, can support us, um, can be there for our children and one day our grandchildren. So you know what? Commitment is a big deal and it means a lot to our family. And I do think commitment to you does motivate me to be consistent in different, a lot of different things, right? So. All right, yes. Stay committed to those that you love and those that are around. So all right. We're going to start with a uh, walk out to a Superman. So you're going to kind of hinge through the hips, press back, walk it out, warming up those hamstrings, Just come down, bring it all the way down, and then fly into a Superman. And then bring it up, reverse that. You don't have to come all the way up. Back down into that Superman, lift those quads off the ground, that chest, bring it down. Really warming up that total body right now. Just work through this for the next 20 seconds. Stretching it out as you guys breathe and loosen up. Try to get a little bit more of that stretch. Flatter back, more bend over. Higher Superman. All right, we're going to bring it up. We're going to go into a runner series stretch. So we're going to lunge it forward. Find that balance. Try to center that weight. Bring those arms up. Bring them down. Touch the ground. Bring them up. Then I want you to drop that back knee. Sit back. Try to stretch out that hammy. That's a little sore from our workout yesterday. Bring it up, arms up, step up, step back, other leg, runner's lunge, press through, find that balance, touch down, bring it up, back down, bring it up, drop that back knee, and then sit back and stretch. Lift that toe, now come up, step up, do a leg swing, one, step back, two for the other side, and get ready. We're going to grab a weight, we're going to go into a squat, and clean. So grab something a little bit heavier, we're going to squat, and on our way up is when we bring it above our head, staying with the right side, one side, staying on that one side this whole 50 seconds. I think my son, I think I can go ahead here with the injury. So pull it up and tight, squeeze at the top, bend down through the hips and bring it up with that full movement here. Use that momentum to get that weight above your head, warm it up with this first move pretty quickly. And rest. We're going to switch to the other side. 
So it's that squat, and with that movement up, you're getting that weight above your head. Here we go. Three, two, one. Squat, move it up. Pull it up above that head. Make sure you're sitting down with the hips, not bending over with the upper body. Keep breathing. How's it feeling? Good. good job, you guys. Come on, breathe through this.
meaning back flat, butt down, you're straight as an arrow, and you're finding, you might have to go wide feet to not rotate those hips, and just row, row, row. If you have a lighter weight like I do, you can kind of do more of a cardio row, keep that core engaged, everything in line, don't drift back. 10 seconds. Come on. Come on, make sure everything's stay engaged. One, and rest. Back to skaters. And we're almost done with the first round. So on those skaters, modified. Step wide. Try not to touch down. No balance for your modified. You'll be able to explode up. Explode up. Get across that floor. Use those arms if you need to to get up there with that explosive jump. Come on, you guys. Breathe through it. Thank you. 
way. Diamond or box. Come on. And we gotta reverse it. We're really in chipping, right? <laughs> All right. Good job, rest. Back to the top with that split stance hammer curl. So, forward, step out, get low, modify to high, and hammer, hammer. Come on, you guys. We're giving our all. Hopefully you are giving your all. Let's go. <laughs> Breathe through this. No pain, no gain. Get low in that stance if you can. Get that lower body just shaking. Breathe through it. Hammer. Hammer. Work those biceps. Work that lower body. Come on. Fight for that stance. Fight for that form. And to rest. Shake that out. We're going to move into an, the other side. Go into a split stance with the other leg. And we're going to alternate a press up. Press up. So you guys, breathe through this. If you gotta recover, real quick, come out of it, shake it out. I'm not giving you permission to, but if you must. Come on, you guys. Breathe through this. You're not only working your lower body and your arms, you're working your core. Come on, breathe like through it. Seconds. We got this. Get lower. Get lower. Press up with more intensity. Come on. Uh, two and rest. Good job, you guys. Pass through forward lunge. So grab something a little heavier here. And with this move, you're stepping forward, passing it under. This forces you to get a little bit lower. And I notice, notice when I do this, instead of just a regular lunge, I actually feel it the next day. Good job. In the press earlier, were you switching your legs? This? The lead leg earlier? Yeah. Were you two one side? I don't think it was that. Good job, you guys. <laughs> and rest. Woo. All right, back to those diamond or box hops. Whatever you want to draw. You're going one way and then reversing it the other way. Here we go. Woo. This is what bothers the tear. Okay, well, you could do a high knee draw. I got to modify. I got an injury. <laughs> a true injury. He's not making this up. I'll get on to him if he wasn't. <clears throat> and it's not from these workouts, so don't worry, guys. Got screen in my stomach, and if I, every now and then I pull it. Round three. Grab a resistance band. We're gonna put it around our legs. On your way down, grab some weight for a chest press. All right, sorry guys. You're gonna get those hips up in a bridge. Grab weight. Woo, we are behind in this move. There you go, you guys got a breather if you're waiting on me. Press through the heels up, working both lower body, and you're squeezing at the top. Good 
Good job. Press through those heels. You want to be able to wiggle your toes. Get those hips high. Get those weights and squeeze with that chest press. You got three, two, one. Good job. All right, from here, shake off these. Stay on your back. You've got one weight. We're doing a pull over, but with a leg extension. So the weight's behind your head. As you come up, you're switching that leg. Come up, switch that leg. Switch that leg. Try to keep this weight or your lower back against the mat. Switch that leg. Actually, I'm sorry, it's on your way down. On your way down, leg extend. On your way down, leg extend. There we go, now I got it down. <laughs> extend that leg on your pull over, pull down or go down and then pull up. Good job, you guys. We got it for next round, right? No, I don't. Extend out. Good job. All right. All right. Weighted side lunge. So you grab one weight or two weights. We're going to step side to side, alternating it. So here to the other side. This is hard. Okay, I don't think I can 30 pounds. So let's go for a weight that you can get back up with. I can tell I was going to pull a muscle I did not want to pull. Speed it up, come on. Good job, you guys. We're getting through this. I know we're getting fatigued. But work through it. And rest. All right, we have touch down to a jump jack squat. That's our cardio. I know we're already feel like we're getting tons of cardio. So you're gonna touch down, bring it up tight, jack, touch down, tight, jack, touch down. Yeah. Josh is gonna step it out for modified, I think. You know what you're doing? Yeah, it's bothering me. So step out, touch down. One, two. Who would have thought I'd be skipping jumping jacks? What is this modified? Like this? Tap out. Tap out. Tap out. I'm broken. Or you don't want to jump down. It'd be a walk down. I had a hard time with explaining modified. <laughs> don't, don't look at me. Good job, you guys. And rest. All right. Back to the top. Woo, what was it? It was bridge to a chest press. If you want to skip the band on your way down, you can. To get into that chest press, I'm going to add it. To get this, a little extra resistance adds a lot to that bridge. Press up with the hips. And get those hips high. Press through the heels. And make sure you're Picking weights that challenge you in the chest press, you can get a little bit heavier here. You're keeping those glutes squeezed the whole time, engaging your hammies. And if you want to, you could even do a little pulse with that band. You've got just a few more seconds. And rest. We're here. Keep it here when you. Lower, you're extending that knee leg out. So you guys ready? Knees up, weight up, extend, and then pull up and over. Extend, one leg as your arms go down. Really engaging the core here. You might need to modify if you need to. Heels would go on the ground. You would bring up one, or extend one leg at a time. You also can go lighter weights or modified, but heels on the ground would help you keep that back flat against the mat. 
Point that toe as you extend out. Come on, you guys. Only if you get the last 10 minutes, you feel like you finally got your form right. You're still feeling it. I know you are. And rest. Good job. We are in that weighted side lunge. So get a weight that is going to challenge you, but you can still get up with. Out of that side lunge. Center it right below, right your collarbone, or you can bring it down, right up to the floor. Touch the floor with that weight, or you can bring it up here if you feel like you need that little bit more of a back support. I'm gonna do high, just so I'm not encouraged to bend over. You want to sit back, step out, and sit back so that you're not bending over. Like you're trying to sit in a chair at a weird angle. Mm. Or press back against that wall behind you. Good job. All right. Now we are back into that touchdown squat. Bring it up tight and then do a jump jack. Modify to step out. Bring it up, tap out, tap out, step down, bring it up, tap out, tap out, step down. I'm gonna move it up. Make sure you're not bending through the upper body only, dipping down with the hips. Good job, you guys. Kind of feels good to get rid of those weights, huh? Fight for that form. Sit down. Good job. Almost there. Rest. I'm going to stop a little bit early. All right. Core finisher. Here we go. Plank twist. So get in a plank on those toes if you need to drop those knees. This would be your modified. I want knees up if you can on your toes. Drop those hips. And twist. And twist. It's a long 50 seconds. Try to work through it. Come on, breathe. Breathe. Exhale out. Come on, keep those hips low. Don't drift back. Pull that core in. You got five. And rest. On our backs, we're going into a bicycle. So from here, hands behind your head. And go. Pedal that bike. Come on. Connect it as you come up. Working those obliques. Come on, both. All your core is engaged here. Whew. I feel it. Good job. Come on, we are almost done. One more move after this for a one minute cool down. Come on. I know it's burning. This is where you get those results. Where you push it. Push. Good job. All right, we've got 10 seconds. Come on, come on, fight for that form. And rest. We're moving it over, back into a plank. It's up, down, plank. So we're in a plank, you're bringing it down, and then bring it up. Down, and then up. Forearm plank, and then palm plank. Try to keep those hips down. If you need to drop it on your knees, make sure you stay in that plank position. But I want to challenge you, even if you are modifying, to get up and try a few. See how you feel. Believe me, it won't feel good. It just feel good afterwards knowing you did it. 
Come on. This is where you find your why. Find your reason why you're doing this. What are your goals? Where do you see yourself in a year? Where do you see yourself next week? And rest. Good job. Take it back into a child's pose. Breathe deep here. And then come forward on all fours. Do a little cat cow so you're sticking those hips up. Really or exaggerating that. And then roll it in. One more time down. Stick those hips up. And then roll it up. Little cat cow there. All right, from here, stick out that left leg. Extend that opposite arm. Back leg gave you the string. It's pulling your fingertips and your toes away from each other. And then tuck it in and rest. Other leg out. Extend that. Hold. And then bring it in. All right, pop up on those toes. Walk those feet into your hands. You're going to reverse up with that swan dive. Whew. Sweat is in my eye now. <laughs> Good job, you guys. Shake it out. We are done with Weighted Wednesday. <laughs> Way to go. Oh, that was a good one. You guys, don't forget, tag a friend, comment below, let us know what move you hated, which is usually the move that we need to work on, that is challenging us and changing us. And, and I want to remind you guys about Overcomers 2020 on October 10th. If you go to overcomers2020.com, you'll see the whole lineup of speakers. Super excited. Some of them have not even spoken about yet or, um, or uh, announced. But uh, one of those speakers is Chad Johnson, who uh, some of you know, and if you don't, I can't wait for you to hear him. Love this guy, awesome, awesome friend. And uh, he's somebody who really has a balanced life, who strives to succeed in a balanced way. And he's gonna talk, focus on relationships. And I just love what he shared with me uh, a week or two ago as we were talking. He was talking about how investing in relationships is not efficient. Right, but having coached um, as he has uh, six figure, seven figure earners, uh, many of them seven, seven figure earners and all, and seen you know uh, a lot of success up front, but realized has realized more than most of us that at the end of the day, all that we want, the key to happiness, is investing in and having deep and personal relationships. So anyway, he'll sum it up, he'll teach it and expound upon it much better, but I think we all know that relationships are critical, whether it's in the house, outside the house, it's the key to overcoming, it's key to being staying healthy, um, and so he's I'm really excited about what he's going to unpack and bring to us. That's one of our keynote speakers, so I hope that you can join us on October 10th, Overcomers 2020. It's going to be uh, in the evening, East Coast, 6 to 9 p.m., so it's a great opportunity to host an event. Um, at your home, we have single tickets and then host an experience uh, ticket where you can invite as many people as you'd like to your church, your home, your workplace. Love you to be a part of that. Check out all the speakers. One of them has had 250 million views, his video has. Uh, go check out who that, who that person is. Incredible lineup. So grateful for how it's coming together. Hope to see you there because we are more than overcomers. Yes, you are. Way to conquer 2% of your day. Don't forget to comment. Don't forget to track your workout at neofitbody.com. We'll see you tomorrow for Tony Thursday, your body weight workout.